high developer so in last part we created a user sign up form and we collect the value inside a function also and now we will integrate the user sign up api so let's start with the points we need to make a api for user sign up and that will do inside the use a uh, json server right as you know that we are using json server for our apis and after that we will create a service file inside our angular project and we will create a function also inside that so that we can call our api user sign up api inside that and we need to just add the user information to local storage also so that we can get this value and get this information after refresh page refresh also and at last we will uh, redirect our user after sign up on a home page we can redirect right so now let's just jump on the project and open db.json file so i'm just creating a one more api there and for that let's uh, just simply add comma and user uh, new your your obje uh, object or array name so we are using uh, array there so i am putting their users that will uh, uh, applicable for our all users operations like sign up uh, and log out and uh, login and all right and colon and blank array and that's all our api is ready now if once we will just add the value uh, uh, there with the api uh, with the help of uh, post method the data will be registered here and you we can say that users are uh, sign up there okay so you can see that we have a user object also there but this is empty so actually i just need to make it users because there are multiple users right so that will be uh, perfect name so here we go this is also empty now let me just close this file we don't need it and open the terminal and i can just simply put there ngg for generate service and our folder name so my folder name is basically uh, services right and your service name so my service name is user and after that you will find that there is a two more file inside the services folder here we go and that is also created now i am just creating a function inside it and let's say my function name is user sign up right and we can get the data as a user and the type of user is sign up as you know we define this type inside uh, we define that in interface inside the data type file right okay and uh, for a moment we can just make a console dot one or console dot log so that we can check this is calling from the function or not which is uh, user authentication right and now let's call it inside the user authentication so i'm just creating a private instance of private user and that will be instance of user service okay so now let's uh, we don't need this console right anymore so just simply put there this dot user dot sign up and there we can put simply data all right and uh, after that uh, we can check this is working or not so let me just open the console and let's let us open on the side by side name is anil for example anil at the rate user dot com and if i'm just clicking on the sign up then we should get a console there inside the user service perfect this is working perfectly fine now we can just remove this console and we can call our api there and for that we need a instance of uh, http services so i just need a ins private instance of http client http client all right and remove this console simply use there this dot http dot uh post method right and uh, firstly as a first parameter we can simply put there user uh, our api path or api url the second parameter you can just simply pass the data which is a uh, user right 
and if you want to get the result proper in a proper way like body and all then we have to put their observe also so observe will be response we want to uh, observe the response so that site will just open it and after that you can simply use a subscribe function and in a subscribe you know that it will return a data type uh, data and if you just want you can check there what data we are getting inside the result let's come back there okay so now again let's add some information anil at user and if I'm just clicking over a sign up uh, you can see that we are getting all of data like all the user is created status and all and if you just want to refresh it you can see that data is uh, just populated there also so one user is already logged in not signed up, signed up and now uh, to just uh, if, if you just enter the second user we want to just put some more operations like uh, firstly if result is not uh, undefined even we can just remove this also from there after that uh, we can add this data inside a local stories so let's put their local stories dot set item item name is user and here we can say that json dot stringify and after that we can put their result dot body right and uh, at last one you can see that this dot router dot, okay so we just need to redact it those, uh, this uh, on a home page after just uh, logged in and uh, putting data in local stories so we need uh, one more private instance so and that we can do inside the constructor right private st uh, that will be router and uh, that is the instance of uh, router service right and now we can say that this dot router dot navigate and uh, we can simply put uh, slash there only right because we want to redact on the home page so i think everything is perfect now so let's try to sign up with peter so let's say peter peter at the rate user.com abc123 and if i'm just clicking on our sign up you can see that we are redacted on the home page so let's check local storage this is working fine or not uh, okay not memories actually i have to open application and here you can see that in a user the information is actually stored great so even if you want to check this user in the api this is also present so that's all for this part and uh, in next part we will uh, uh, just pick the username there and put logout option and in upcoming part we will play with the login apis login forms and add to card and all so please don't forget to subscribe my channel like this video share your feedback in comment box thank you so much for watching this video